Unforgotten Forces is a collaboration of 15 charities that cross the sector to support um, activity for veterans over the age of 65. There are many, many organisations providing similar services and sometimes those needing help don't know where to turn. Each partner knows what the other does and on a daily basis we're helping tens and tens of um, older veterans and, and it's vital that we help them as much as we can. Ali Gemmell, I'm a Regional Support Officer on the Armed Services Advice Project at Stirling Citizens Advice Bureau. Unforgotten Forces uh, partnership came on board as a, for, for me as an additional part to Armed Services Ad Advice Project. We seem to be a direct point of, of contact that uh, collates all the different agencies involved where I need to refer out to Scottish War Blinded for example, I'll do so. If I need fares for free to take the, the veteran to an appointment, we'll, we'll liaise with them. So it does seem to be a, a project that works very well. Anything that uh, can help the veteran and adds additionality has got to be an asset and a, a tool to be utilised. As a regional support officer, we, we deal with all the, the problems that veterans and serving personnel present. It's quite wide ranging. We see a lot of guys over years. I'm Peter Buff. I live in Stirling. I'm retired. I was very lucky when I joined the Army. It sent me to the Royal Engineers and I can only be thankful for that. Best corps in the British Army. I loved the Army. My wife fell in love with me when I, was, when I had a, a uniform on <laughs> and I don't know if she still would rather have me in a uniform. <laughs> I left the Army because I was medically discharged with a a stupid situation that I was through a senior rank ordered me to do something that I shouldn't have done and I've suffered ever since from that. P P Peter's case was a, a long-running complicated case that was multifaceted and required a lot of uh, involvement with a lot of agencies but Peter it, it did his service mostly in Germany and he got injured in 1964 and after he was medically discharged from the army, he settled in Germany and he didn't come back to, to Britain until later in life. And I said I was medically discharged, they asked me what my pension was and I didn't have one. The army sent me home with £229, that was my pension, or whatever I was getting. Well, through these chaps in the British Legion, he told me to get in touch with this guy in Stirling here called Alistair Gemmell. He, he realised he was eligible for a war pension claim. So we had to start the process retrospectively and a lot of his paperwork was in Germany. And being a, a medical matter, it required a lot of involvement with the, the health services in Germany where they'd maintained his records. So it did take a, a long time to, to get resolved. And at the start he was, he was awarded a small amount of compensation. I didn't feel that it was a, a fair amount that was reflective of how it had impacted upon his life. Through the help of Alistair and the Poppy Scotland in Edinburgh, it's now come to the point where I've now got a pension. This has really helped me out of that situation. It's made that I can now pay my bills and buy the food we need. Yeah, it's, it's reaching the, the hidden veterans. There's a lot of pride and dignity. A lot of people don't want to, to seek help, but the help is out there, as, as we can see with Armed Services Advice Project and all the consortium partners in Unforgotten Forces. I'm more than certain that if it hadn't been for Alistair, I wouldn't have been where I am today.